Hey guys, we're back on the 2007 Charger 2.7 liter dual overhand cast cams. He's working now on the uh, lubing everything up real good, you know, because we just got it all cleaned up and back together. The heads are set and torqued to specifications like our other video shows if you uh, haven't seen them and you need to check uh, torque specification on uh, the head bolts and sequence just go to uh, look through our list and subscribe guys and, and uh, hopefully if there's anything we can help you with you know we don't we just do this just uh, as a means of uh, helping other people that may be going through it that's all so anyway so now he's using a really good lube the lube was eight dollars at advanced auto and uh, he's got a little brush and he's just lubing up the uh, springs right now. After that, that's been cleaned real good, you know, lube everything up because it's dry, right? So when the car first cranks, which we'll do a video on that as well, uh, you don't want to have, you don't want to do a dry crank, right? So you want a, a good lube. You can buy the cheapest stuff. You can get it as low as three dollars probably, but even if you get uh, the four dollar. Some of the $4 stuff, it just doesn't have no stickiness to it. I don't know if you notice how sticky this is, but it's tacky. So that's good. That's what you want, because it's going to stay where he's putting it to protect the inside of the head at dry startup after this type of work's been done. So as you know, we're doing, uh, we, we've done uh, the head gaskets uh, because we had... Uh, a blown head gasket with water leaking out we had the head shaved and we cleaned them up ourselves so here we are now at at the procedure of lubing it up making sure everything's good to go before the overhead cams are put together and put in and we'll lube all of that as well so we're lubing everything up now before any of the other parts are put in so Looks like he's cleaning it up just a tad bit more. You may have noticed something that I missed, which is okay. You know, it's 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 an engine, guys. It don't run until you hook up power to it and fire it, right? So, if you never did one before, have a fire extinguisher handy, you know. So anyway, here we are, lubing it up, making it all ready to go. What's next, the rocker arms? Uh, he, everything's got to be lubed up like he's doing. And uh, then we got to take- He's using car cleaner, huh? Yeah, I'm just cleaning the surface yeah. right now a little bit. And uh, that lube right here is what we're demonstrating in this video. We This is what we chose. Permatex Ultra Slick Engine Assembly Lube. So it's part uh, item number, it's uh, 81950, guys. So there you have it. See how it says timing components? That's exactly what we're doing. Valves and pulleys, rockers, see all of that? Shaft assemblies. So that's why, so we went with this one because it was tacky. And that's what we want. We want a tacky substance that's gonna protect our parts when we fire it up for the first time. So next we'll uh, get the exhaust manifolds on which is very challenging because you have to feel it and you have to get a gasket in between and hold it there while you screw it all up to the uh, heads one on each side once that process is done we can bolt the uh, power steering pump back to the head and we can tackle our uh, timing components well uh, just about it might be one or two things I'm not I'm missing here yeah, oh yeah, we have to uh, tighten down our EGR bolts that hold our pipes in position. It's back over here. Here's the EGR. And here's the pipes that's got to be in position to go in the plenum. And then this pipe here. Let's see. Where is she at? This pipe here is going to bolt up. Once you bolt the exhaust to the head then you can take and put your uh, exhaust pipe 
that comes off the EGR valve to it. Once we do that, we can tighten up on each side. Tighten up the bolts. Well, we don't have them tight right now because we got to move the pipes around a little bit, you know, so we want to make sure we get it right. So Shane's doing a wonderful job here. I mean, he's doing a fabulous job. Uh, it's cleaned up. It's uh, being lubed correctly like it needs to be lubed. Pay attention to how he's making sure not to miss any of his uh, sleeves there. Where his cam sit, you know, it's pretty important because that cam rotates. So that chain, you know, chain turns them. So that's what we got to do is get it all lubed up, guys, and make sure it's right. Got a couple springs on the inside. Okay, well, the other side's going to be the same as this side. So I guess we'll cut this video short and just wanted you guys to kind of see how you got to go about lubing it up making sure it's all going to turn out right and you do it in the proper procedures you shouldn't have any problems okay we'll check we'll check you on the next video brother